I gained weight this week. Apparently, I gained weight this week, but I don't know how. I really, I really don't know how. My name is Rachel. If you're new here, this is my channel where I talk about all my travel adventures, kayaking adventures, and my weight loss journey. This particular video is about my current journey to lose 200 pounds. I, as of last week, was down 53 pounds, and we are going to do a weekly weigh-in and see what's going on and just talk about this week. So a question that I get a lot is why I'm trying to lose the weight. In the world we live in today, body positivity is like a big thing, and I'm all for it. But I love to go on travel adventures. I love to do things that are adrenaline rush, or that would. I love to do things that give you an adrenaline rush. I enjoy adventure, and recently I've noticed that there's things I can't do anymore because of my weight. I took a long, long time and thought about it. And um, not only am I doing this for my health, but I have a list of a hundred things that I cannot currently do because of my weight. So I'm trying to lose 200 pounds. So I'm in the process of losing 200 pounds so that my weight doesn't hold me back from anything. And I thought that videoing the process along the way would be good because I think sharing this helps other people that have been overweight or obese their entire life and they don't know where to start. So I'm sharing my weight loss journey in hopes that it will help other people and it also helps me because sharing, I feel like, keeps me accountable. I didn't want to make this video today. Um, I have not had a great week and making this video helps me recount this week and where I am and why I am where I am and how I could do better and be better and exercise more, th things of that nature. So I think recording it, even if you aren't recording it live like this, if you were to record it, say, in a journal or just in your notes on your phone, I think that really helps keep you accountable, even if it's not daily, if you do it weekly, to kind of just see where you're at. I, you know, I log my food every day. I log my thoughts in my notes app on my phone, just, you know, where I'm at at the end of the day. And then this is kind of like another form of logging it, but also in a way that helps other people because I gained so much from other people posting their weight loss journeys online that I wanted to also contribute to somebody else hopefully losing weight too. With all of that said, I am on the way to go pick up my grocery order and then I have to drop by Publix and grab barbecue sauce that they don't have at Walmart. All right, so I'm on my way to Walmart and then I have to go grab some barbecue sauce and some a Boston butt from Publix because both of those things got canceled off my order and I really want to eat pulled pork tacos this week. And I bought the stuff to make pulled pork tacos. Like I bought like the cabbage slaw and the avocado and that's like my favorite meal and I'm just in the mood for it. So that's where we're going. Now I know weight loss isn't linear, right? And you're gonna have your ups and downs and I'm having an up this week. I guess I I guess because it's like that time of the month I guess so for me it's that time of the month and this happens last month I think actually where I completely stalled out for probably a week and a half and I didn't gain anything and I didn't lose anything and I was really annoyed 
but then I lost a whole bunch of weight all at once. So my body is just like, I guess holding on to the number. I don't really know how that works, but essentially I'm okay with the fact that I gained a little bit of weight this week. I don't think it's the end of the world. It sucks, of course. Who wants to get on the scale and have it show that you weigh way more than what you weighed last week? That's like the whole opposite purpose of this of this entire thing. I'm supposed to be losing weight, not gaining weight. So yeah, it's a little disheartening, but I think that I'm doing everything right. I did have one kind of major hiccup this week where, so uh, this week I ran, walk, jog, ran like three, three times, four times, four times. And on Saturday, yes. Then I, I had some fried food for lunch, and the fried food was not keto, and I had a non-keto donut. And so I think we kayaked five and a half or six miles. I did fall off I, keto this week, but my calories were in line every single day this week. If not, I mean, I did exceeding well, exceedingly well on the calorie uh, portion of this week. So. It's not like I overate. Actually, at one point this week, I got on the, so Sunday morning I got on the scale because I was curious what it said. It said I was 11 pounds, I had gained 11 pounds overnight. And I was like, you're freaking crazy, that's not true. It was all the salt from all the fried food I'd had the day before on lunch. I'm here. Got a cute tie-dye mask. Good old Walmart. Um, just checked in and we're here. So last week I told you guys I was down 53 pounds and then the next day I was down 54 pounds and I was like, oh, this is great. So then I was kind of curious because I'd lost so much weight so quickly if the scale was going to fluctuate. So I decided to just kind of keep weighing myself every day this week. Um, so then Saturday I had the day where I didn't eat great and Sunday I got on the scale and I had gained 11 pounds so the scale was telling me that i was only down 43 pounds and i was like that's not right i didn't eat that much food so then i worked out sunday and i got on the scale on monday and then i was still five pounds heavier than my like best weight loss got on the scale today and i'm currently down 49 pounds which is higher than last week, which is unfortunate. But I don't think that's weight. I think that's salt and water. And I think I truly have lost 54 pounds. I think it also has to do with the fact that my hormones always suck right around my period and that just started. So, you know, woman things, which really sucks. And this also happened last month. I remember last month I had a period of time where I, didn't lose any weight for like a week and a half, but I was eating fantastic. So I know that, I know it's always going to be, I, I know the weight loss, I know the weight loss isn't going to be linear. I like doing these weekly check-ins though, because it helps remind me of that because you get in your head a little bit when you, when the scale says you've gained 11 pounds and you know you haven't, you know you haven't, they're here. Yeah. All right, on to the next grocery store. I've just been, I've been eating so well, so it's kind of discouraging when you're getting the right amounts of water and you're eating correctly, but the scale doesn't show it. So I thought, why don't I take a picture of what I look like today, which I did, I did that in the bathroom earlier, and then compare it to what it looks like. You know, when you're eating right and, okay, eating right most days, I should say, and you're exercising and you're drinking your water, I'm getting in a gallon every day. It is discouraging when the scale fluctuates so much. It sucks that my hormones and like shark week affect me so much. It's, it really does suck. I do think this check-in that I do every week keeps me accountable and lets me air out my issues that I had and maybe see where I could have done better. Like I could have 
just eaten the salad. I didn't eat, need to eat the fried food. And honestly, I don't even know why I eat the donut. I was really craving, I have been for several weeks, a really good donut, like from um, this donut place downtown, or just like a pumpkin donut of some kind because it's pumpkin season and I haven't had either so I kind of caved I went into Wawa late at night to get a Diet Dr. Pepper and I went over and looked at the case for a long time and I ended up getting a red velvet donut that really wasn't that good if we're completely honest so I caved I ate the calories but I still was in a calorie deficit that day so it's just, it's funny how the body works. I mean, I'm not gonna lie and say that I wish that I had lost an extra two pounds and I was sitting here talking about how I was 55 pounds down. Heck, at three months, I was hoping to be 50 pounds down. At four months, I wanted to be somewhere around 65 pounds down. So I'm not like meeting my personal goals, but I'm also, doing a heck of a lot better than nothing. So I just remind myself that. I walked by this aisle just to see if this stuff was on sale every single day. Cause it's so expensive, but it's so good. I've never had this stuff before, but I keep seeing recipes. It like, it's supposed to taste like pasta. So I'm gonna try it. Best sugar free barbecue sauce, period. And we're done. I bought a little bit too much at Publix, but it's okay. We'll make pulled pork, and then I've got a recipe for like a lasagna made with this palmini. I got these that are low carb, these energy shots, or these, I guess, energy and detox shots. And then I couldn't resist. The Reese cups aren't that bad for you, but they're also not that good for you. So I try to limit myself just a little bit. Let's go look at the Walmart order. Smaller order of things from Walmart this week. I have not had these yet, so this will be an interesting thing to try. They're keto yogurts. A little bit smaller order than last week because I just have so much leftover food, but I wanted some variety, so. I will put the full recipe for this on my Instagram my food Instagram, which is linked below. It's so, so good. Chicken spinach alfredo with pesto. Mm. Dinner was amazing. If you have tried like zoodles and you hate them, cause I don't like them, or like cauliflower, and I'm not a huge cauliflower fan, I'll do like cauliflower fried rice. You should try pomini. I don't know if it's new. It's just something that I saw on Reddit the other day and I was like, I gotta try it. So I found it at Publix today and then I made that dish and oh my goodness. I, I felt like I was eating pasta, but it was only three and a half carbs, which is, which is crazy to me. Sorry, the cat. Well, I don't have, so it's been a week. Um, I don't have a time machine. I can't go back in time and fix things. I can't change what I've eaten or what I've done this week. I just have to accept it, move on, learn. I don't know if there's a lesson to be learned. Don't eat donuts. <laughs> that could be the lesson actually. But but truthfully, like I all I can do is gain knowledge and learn from my experience that I've had this week and know that Next week is going to be completely different. Could be better. Could be worse. Hopefully it's better. I've bought the things that have made it better and I can meditate on the fact that I, I am 49 pounds down. I mean, it's a huge accomplishment. I'm a fourth, just under fourth of the way to go. And I have a feeling this week will be good. So I'm going to put my workouts in, get my exercise in and just focus on making sure that my calories are good and that I'm treating myself right because it's a long journey. I've come a long way. 100, 142 days is probably like, what, a third of a year? Yeah. I've done this for a third of a year. I mean, 
I'm I'm pretty amazed at my at myself already. So the scale sucks. Hormones suck. I'm gonna hope for a whoosh this week and just keep grinding because that's all that I can do. There there are just things in life that I wanna do that I can't do right now. And I think I've said that a few times today, but Truthfully, that's why I made sure to buy, go buy pulled pork. That's like Walmart was out of pork picnic or b the Boston butt. So I took an extra trip to Publix because I wanted to eat pulled pork this week because I know pulled pork with the, my favorite sugar-free barbecue sauce with avocado and low-carb tacos is a good meal and I'm gonna feel good eating that and I'm not gonna wanna go get a Diet Dr. Pepper and be and be tempted to grab a donut or look at the chips. We're supposed to go back in the office next week for two days a week, which is a little scary. I don't know if I'm gonna go yet, but eating at home and like having all of like everything at home has been so helpful. Just having all the right things here and I think that I don't know how well prepared I am to be in the office for two days a week because that's like a whole different schedule and that's lunches and breakfasts and you know coming home and then having not having to be able to like make dinner if I want to like cook if I want to start dinner early and you know work while it's in the crock pot or something I don't have that ability so I'm a little uneasy about that because I really hope it doesn't derail me I'm just kind of looking into the future but thinking about it now, I think it can prepare for it. And I mean, eventually, I feel like we're not gonna be working at home full time forever. So I'm gonna eventually have to. So I need to start thinking about that for next week. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate everybody that likes, comments, subscribes to my channel. Um, you don't understand. I've never been this vulnerable on the internet before so i truly hope that people enjoy coming along on my weight loss journey with me and i hope there's somebody out there getting some inspiration from this have a great day week month year hit me with a subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye